Hey, good uh, morning. My name is Matt Dickinson. I'm out here uh, in Orange Beach on the new 241 Sportsman. Uh, this is a sole boat, but we wanted to give you a little presentation of what it has to offer. Uh, the 241 Sportsman is uh, 23 feet 8 inches long. It's 8 feet 6 inches wide. It holds 111 gallons of gas and it, uh, it also is packaged with a 300 Yamaha. Uh, we just took this boat out with three people and topped out at right at 50 miles an hour. Uh, it also holds 13 gallons of fresh water, which is nice when you're at the sand uh, at the sandbar and you want to rinse off and just kind of clear, clear everything out. Uh, I'm gonna start up here on the boat. Uh, as you can see, the boat comes with a, uh, the heritage package comes with a bow, a cushion package, and it has uh, combing bolsters all the way around. It also has the backrest, which is extremely nice. There's also a table that will come in and also lay flat. That's where your inserts are gonna be located at right here. Uh, one thing about the 241 is you have a very large anchor locker. If you want to check this out, you have a very large anchor locker so you can you know, fit uh, any anchor that you would like with a, a lot of rope and chain. There is an optional uh, windlass option on this boat. Uh, they, they do offer a windlass on the, on the 24. Um, you also have all pop-up loops as well, cup holders in the corners. Um, we also have a cooler right here. Freshwater fill is located right here on the on the corner side. Uh, this customer chose to do the upgraded JL Audio package on the audio. Uh, it also has, you know, you have some JL Audio small subs, speakers, speakers up in the bow or the very front of the hard top. You also have them in the in the rear. One thing about Sportsman is they do have misters, so you do have misters in the front. You also have them in the rear, which I'll show you in a second. One thing I really like about this boat is you also have a uh, an enclosure that goes around the center console to where if it is raining or if it's cold and you want to take the family out, you can still go out and it comes in to be nice to have when you don't want to fight that wind. The fuel field is on the, uh, field is on the port side. Like I was stating earlier, it's 111 gallons of gas. So with this 300 motor, you're probably going to get you know, three to five miles per gallon out of it depending on how you're running. And that's a great range on a 24 foot boat. Um, I'm going to come back to the rear and then we'll come to the console. Uh, as you can see, we're packaged with a 300 Yamaha. It's all uh, XCA, so it's all fly-by-wire. You can get this boat with a mechanical uh, motor as well. Uh, one thing that I really like about the Heritage is the full bench seat in the rear. You do have access for full four grown adults to sit back here and, and go out on the water. Uh, there is a eight gallon live well under the port side and there's an eight gallon live well underneath the starboard side. One thing that uh, Sportsman really specializes in is the access to the bilge. As you can see, we have access to our transducer, bilge pump, live well pumps. Uh, all of our through holes are easy to get to, fuel water separator, and there's access for storage or two five gallon buckets depending on how you, you, know, you want to take your boat out and enjoy it. Um, Sportsman really goes above and beyond on their fit and finish for the plumbing, the uh, drains for the corners to the back, splash, uh, and then you also have over uh, the, the actual deck itself drains overboard, which is extremely nice. Uh, this particular customer did choose to do the uh, tackle station underneath the leaning post. This is an option. Uh, and then he also, uh, you can add a cooler. Sportsman offers a slide out cooler and uh, it's it's available when you order a boat. We just, the customer decided not to do it on this particular model. Um, you do have four nice rod holders up here and the new uh, seats that are right here are extremely comfortable. They have a nice curvature to them. They also flip down, which is extremely nice. If your wife is sitting here or your family and friends sitting here, they have a backrest, keeps them inside the seat and the driver can sit or he can stand or she can stand, whatever, whoever's driving, it's, it's nice to have. Um, now, one thing that really specializes for the Sportsman itself is the electronics. The, the thing I really like about the 241 and you know, all the Sportsman boats are packaged with electronics, which is extremely nice to have. You don't have to go out and buy a boat and then put another three to $10,000 with electronics in it. Um, this particular unit right here is called a Simrad Evo 3. That's standard in a 241. This customer on this particular boat decided to add from the factory an additional 12 inch Simrad, which is extremely nice because now if you notice, I can go to my uh, charts, echo, I can do autopilot, radar, I can have my charts going here, I can have my Yamaha gauge, which is all built in here. Uh, they, 
the Sportsman boat keeps everything simple, clean, and classy. All my switches are, are down here, easy to get to from my lights to my accessories to my wash downs to my bilge and my uh, radio uh, and like i was stating earlier the jl audio system which is an upgrade this is the jl audio uh, head unit which is extremely nice as you can see we can turn the music up and down so it's uh it's extremely nice to have this particular unit right here does have a radar 4g radar it also has autopilot um, the customer, he tried to make this a fishing boat, but a family boat. Um, and it also comes with a VHF radio, which is located up on the hard top. Um, lastly, I want to show you the additional speakers, storage, and you also have freshwater misters. These are freshwater, which is extremely nice. If it's a hot 95 degree day, throw those on and your family is getting a nice mist. It's going to keep them cool and nobody's going to be ready to go inside. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, product here and we also sell anything from the Island series all the way up to the 312. Uh, we hope this video helps you as a walkthrough tool for the 241 because it is a new boat and uh, we hope to show you some more boats here in the near future. Thank you and we'll see you later.